Hello and welcome back to another tutorial video. So this one is Street Racing Syndicate and a few people have asked because of the playthrough that um, I'm currently doing on the channel is of SRS with the SRS Remastered mod installed and so a few people have asked how to install it. It can be a little complicated but it's not too bad. I mean I forgot how to do it and I've just ran through it from start to finish again you know just to remind myself so it, it's not it's not too bad and so the version I have is from Steam that you can see here oh yes I I uh, <laughs> I recommend it um, I'll, I'll write that out in a minute actually I should do that uh, so anyway so yeah I bought mine here from Steam because look it's only 239 that's euros so what's that I don't know three dollars or so but uh, it's worth it I mean it's worth it because it's just so much fun especially with the uh, remastered mod installed so what I did for this video is I've got um, my uh, external hard drive where I keep like um, all the assets and artwork for all of the videos that I've been doing like there's loads of them <laughs> I can't believe how many I've done over the years but um, anyway so yeah so this is uh, just like a folder where I keep specific SRS stuff um, so what I've done is I've copied now this just imagine that's a vanilla version here but this is basically the the steam copy of Street Racing Syndicate and I've just grabbed it copied it and pasted it here so we've got something to work on and um, so if you go into bin that's the the SRS um, EXE <laughs> so it's in the bin folder so okay so just imagine that's like the um, you know your copy of the vanilla version of Street Racing Syndicate and what we'll do is we'll run through and we'll download everything that we need and then we'll we'll mod it together because it gets a little complicated because you have um, I think TPF files that we have to use UMOD to mod the textures into the game but we'll we'll do that together okay so where we'll start is here um, the link will be in the description as it was the link was also in the um, sort of the playthrough that I've been doing so it's um, sfx dot the lazy dot games forward slash games forward slash preset forward slash eight four five zero so um, this is Spartica 12 has kindly put this together for us now what we'll do is we'll run through this together. So darker nights, more bloom. I think that's anti-lazing and uh, ambient occlusion. I think that is, um, and more. It says. So first thing we need to download all this stuff. So we'll first download everything um, and unzip and put everything sort of together before we start doing all the modding. So the first thing we'll just download the windscreen fix, which is here. We just need to click on this here, the um, zip folder here. We'll download that. Oh, I hate that. It's just jammed it straight into my do downloads folder. So I'll sort that out in a second. Good. So the next thing is the texture pack. The download limit has, has been exceeded for Yandex disk. So these are the... Um, so here, this is the um, the texture file here. Now, just for the purpose of the, the tutorial, I have found the ones that I previously downloaded. So um, what I'll do is, um, f if you want to... For you to download the textures, you'll need to set up um, a Yandex.disk um, account. So I don't know how technical that is, but um, I found a copy that I previously downloaded. It shouldn't be too hard. I mean, someone was talking about it here. Oop, go back. Yeah, someone was talking about it here that they had to set up a, an account on Yandex. But it, it shouldn't be too bad. I mean, hopefully you better do that okay. Okay, yeah. So th these are the textures that I downloaded previously. I mean, you should be able to download them if you just have to set up a, a Yandex dot disk account and then just close the account after you've downloaded the the textures but um, I like to put everything in folders so I know uh, what everything is so I'm gonna put that's textures so I'll just put that in there okay the next thing will be here is good umod so we'll download umod oh it's just <laughs> it's thrown it straight into the download um, folder it's annoying when I, I hate it when it doesn't give you the option of where you want to save it um, I think you can set that up in Google but um, Anyway, <laughs> another day. And then lastly, we need to download the reshader. So I'll download that as well. Um, just yep, and we'll just click download there. Hopefully, the guy who's um, yes, it's downloaded it. Hopefully, he'll put the textures here in Mediafire because it'll be so much easier to download. Okay, good. So I've just fished out these bits from the um, download folder. So I'll just add some extra folders so we know what's what. So this is the win screen fix oh, so just looking over my microphone at the keyboard <laughs> so that's the windscreen fix we'll put that there then we've got reshader so we'll put that there and then we've got u mod so I just add u mod oi small u get it right 
So U mod, great. Okay. So what we'll do now, we'll just run through these these various you know parts of the the modding that we need to do. The first thing we need to do is the textures. And like I said, I hope you get hold of the textures, okay? Because when I downloaded my textures, um, it didn't ask me to set up a Yandex account. So. But anyway, it is what it is. So we'll um, we'll extract the textures here. So extract, perfect, there, perfect. Okay, we we'll just wait for that to finish. Great. So that's done, and that gives us these TPF um, files, which we'll get back to in a second. Um, good. And now let's we'll unzip UMod, unzip or extract here. Perfect. Good. So what we need to do, once we've extracted, so I'll just quickly show you. So we've we've extracted UMod, and then we have to double click into that UMod folder. Double click on the EXE. Good. Now UMod's opened up. This is our dashboard. So the first thing we need to do is we need to open up the Street Racing Syndicate EXE in UMod. So to do that, we have to click Main, and then Start Game through UMod. Select the game to start, okay, okay, and then, <laughs> okay, okay, and then we'll open up my um, copied and pasted Street Racing Syndicate game files here. So it's into the bin, <laughs> into the bin, and then you double click on the EXE with the SRS EXE. Good. Now, it <laughs> I know when you first look at it, it doesn't really look any different, but now we've got the um, Street Racing Syndicate game opened up within UMod. Alright, so now to mod the textures, what we need to do is the first thing on the white bit down here, just right, right click and um, click on support TPF mods. Good. Now that's been, you can see now that's been ticked. We have to do open texture forward slash package. So what we need to do from that is, if you remember where we put our texture, the one that you would have had to probably have had to have logged into Yanex, Yan decks or whatever it's called to download it that would be we put in our texture folder here and we double click into the, what we extracted earlier now we've got three TPF um, files we'll highlight all of those and then click open now hopefully it works sometimes it fails on one or two of them um, hello Oh, so yeah, so you've got to leave it, otherwise you UMod gets unhappy. Not responding. Sorry, UMod. So we just have to wait for this to finish doing... Okay, so I had this before. For some reason it says not enough memory, but um, just double check and see which ones you have. So, okay, so we've got one and two. So, let's go back in, open texture package, and then double click on three. Now, hopefully this does it for us this time. Add... There you go. So it failed doing all three at once. Now, maybe it's better to do one at a time. Okay, good. So what we have, so now we need to highlight all of them. So to do that, I just hold my uh, shift key and click on all three, then right click and do update. Good. Okay, so now that's done. Okay, so it says here, if you want to use the MXAO, which is, what is it? Ambient Occlusion, I think it is. You need to disable anti-aliasing in game. So just keep that in mind to remember that. Good. Okay, so next is the windscreen prefix. Good. Yeah, sorry, I had to get it, retrieve it from the download um, folder. So we'll extract here. Okay. Good. Now, this is more simple. All you need to do is you need to, for the windscreen fix, you just have to go to these, just grab the scripts and the, the D double L. Um, well, gr grab those two. And all you need to do for those two, though, it's a lot more straightforward. You go into your, your games folder, go into the bin, and then paste them here. Replace the files in destination. Perfect. Good. That's done. Okay. So we're almost, we're actually almost there now. So now the reshader. Okay, good. So we'll extract here all the files from the, um, the reshader. Yep. So, of course, make sure they go in the bin where the EXE folder is. Paste them there. Okay, and then replace files in destination. Okay, now that that should that should be everything. But uh, one thing just to keep in mind is that um, of course the game was not originally a widescreen game, so we've added the widescreen fix on onto it. 
but it's worth keeping in mind that uh, if the HUD is like in a square shape, because I think it was on my playthrough on, on uh, I think, episode two, I forgot to do it, and it for some reason reset to like a, a square HUD. So although it was widescreen, the HUD was square. So to fix that, you have to go into the bin, and then into scripts, and then open up the windscreen fix dot ini, I -N -I, okay, right click and do edit. Now, have a look at this. Okay, so fix HUD, fix field of view. So, this is binary, so the option is either 0 or 1. Okay, so if you load it up and the HUD is a sort of a square, you want to delete the 1 and put in a 0, and then come out and save, and vice versa. Okay, so that's worth keeping in mind, because it does give you a much better playing experience if you've got the widescreen and you've got the widescreen HUD. So, now we've done everything. That should be everything. Hopefully... We should, it should load up okay. Okay, yes, yeah, so you can see that we've got, see the top there, you can see we've got the mod installed. Very good. Oh, okay. F the frame rate, uh, top right, we can take that off. So we'll do that in a second. Yeah, good, so you can see it's widescreen. Very good. Widescreen, so that's been stretched because that, that uh, movie is normally like a square, what, 16.9. Good, okay, so we'll go in. Um, oh, just for the purpose of this, we'll load up my profile just because it's a bit easier. Now, um, what you need to do is go to display now. Okay, so, good, so you do your, your, your um, resolution in-game. Anti-lasing is off, so that gives us um, the MXAO um ambient occlusion so then you can do all your bits here put everything on high okay yeah well that's on high very good texture quality very high please um, draw distance high all that stuff is very good now all oh, right so we have to restart okay that's fine we have to restart but when we do that we'll try and get rid of oh i've lost the mouse but in the top right hand corner you can see the frame rate um and stuff up there so i'm going to just do that quick so we need to come out Good. Now, I did see it somewhere, but I can't remember where I saw it. But we'll have a look. So just all the, you know, this is quite a handy thing. If you're messing around with games, all the sort of the scripts, keep have a look around. Because you, if you have any trouble with that sort of widescreen stuff, sometimes you can sort of fix it with looking at the innies. So I saw it somewhere. I can't remember where. Here we go. There you go. So this is a good example. See, show FPS. So if we delete that and put a zero and then X and save. Now hopefully that won't be there anymore. So let's load it back up. We need to go in the bin and the SRS.exe. Now fingers crossed. And yes, as if by magic, it has gone. Very good, so the system worked. Now the last thing I want to do and test quickly before I end the video is quick stop that. One thing I want to check check very quickly is to have a look at the HUD to make sure that it is a widescreen HUD because then we can always go back and just change it in the option there. Yes, okay, brilliant. So you can see the HUD is on the far sides of the screen. Now um, if you have it setting, if you have it I think a one instead of a zero, then it's sort of like very square and it's sort of in your way and it's really annoying so yeah so that's that so that's how you install the SRS remastered mod I hope it um, works out okay and I'm sorry that you can't or you have to have an account to download your textures I don't know why it's a shame it's like I said I downloaded my textures ages ago so um, I didn't need an account but I hope you have no trouble with that and but you know hope it shouldn't be too bad hopefully you can just set it up quickly and then and then download it. Hopefully you won't have any trouble with that. But yeah, thank you very much uh, for checking this out. I hope it helped you. And um, yeah, so we'll, um, I'll, I'll see you in the next one.